Hey everyone, it's your boy CyberDev here, and I'm here to go over my journey into cybersecurity and how I will do it over in the year 2025. Now, let's start from the beginning. So I've been in the field for well over a decade in education, and I knew something was amiss. Something was pulling at me saying, look over here. So as a youth, as a person that grew up in the MySpace era, understanding how to front end and back end our own top five, top 10 friends list, to make our background look like we're in the matrix, to have that perfect song. It was such a great feeling. And fast forward as an adult, you go through college, you think, huh, is this going to get me a job? On the hold, it will. Uh, so I decided to really jump back in and really go into how our world is going to be coming more intertwined in technology. Where can I state claim in that? Now, in my current roles, I'm an educator. I educate the masses. I love seeing that light bulb flicker in a student's head when they connect the dots to something that I help instruct, take large, vast amounts of information and tunnel into one concentrated beam of information. This is exciting to me. And I also do a little incident response, so to speak, in a different type of realm. So I was like, what in technology can I do to kind of meet in the middle? The education piece is tough, but there's curriculum design, there's instruction, there's ways to help others get their certifications, which is something I didn't think about until later on. So it's 2023. Yes, it's 2023. And I'm thinking, what can I do? So I create a game plan. I said, okay, I'm going to start somewhere. Where do you go? YouTube University. It's free. So I'm on YouTube. I'm looking at cybersecurity. And around 2023, it was really hot and it still is hot. But there are so many pathways in cybersecurity. You just can become overwhelmed and you're left thinking every day, oh, I can be a SOC analyst. Oh, I can be a network engineer. Oh, I can work in GRC. But then there's splinters and pathways within those roles that you wouldn't even think about. Incident response analyst, risk analyst, cryptology specialist, forensic analyst. Think about it. It's, it's rampant. And it led me to this confused paralysis for, for months. I'll be honest, for months. And 2023 came in 2023 went and I was still stuck in the same capacity. Just thinking of the role. Now, when 2024 came, I became very fixated on you have to do something and you have to stick to it. That's the main thing. If you're going to make a plan, stick to it. Because again, if you don't have a plan, what are you going to do? So I actually wrote it out. I have multiple whiteboards. I said, this is my plan. Three months, six months, nine months, one year. So I said, let's go. So in my plans, I decided to join a bunch of cybersecurity communities on LinkedIn. I searched in my area. I just typed in cybersecurity community in Google first. And then that led me to LinkedIn, which led me to find smaller pockets and also communities of people that look like me and doing great things and big things in the cybersecurity field. And I said, how can I become part of that? So I joined a few communities and groups where there were cohorts that really sped run you through what it means to be in the field, how to work in the field, how to get a job in the field, how to get hired in the field, how to network in the field. And that led me to being a part of a great community uh, with Google and their tech equity collective. And that's where it really began to push forward for me. So that summer I applied, didn't hear back, but I was very tenacious. And I said, no, I have to do this. I have to get on a pathway of success. So what I did was I said, hmm, what certifications can I do until I can get to the elite of the elite? And that led me to understanding CompTIA. I said, okay, CompTIA, what's that? So I Google it. I go through a lot of documentation and I stumble upon Security Plus. I'm like, okay, Security Plus. Okay. I think in my wheelhouse of experience in education, I think this falls into something that I should specialize in. Until you see how much these certifications cost. They're expensive. And if you don't have income just laying around on the side that you can just throw away in the wind and hope you passed, it can be intimidating. CompTIA at the time was about $403. And I don't know about you, uh, but you know, sometimes you don't always have $400 just to, again, potentially burn. Because if you fail, it's gone. And then you have to retake it and pay again. So I said, okay, how can I supplement this income? Now, I already have those side hustles here and there, but I stumbled upon Google's cybersecurity certificate. And I said, okay, let me, let me see what this is about. And I got into this, the certificate program through Coursera, not a sponsor, but Coursera is a platform that I use for, for learning. Uh, if I want to go in depth, I go on Coursera and I saw that potentially at the end of that 
program, you can get 30% off your CompTIA exam. So I said, okay, this is the pathway. So I said, okay, how many modules is the course? Let me plot a point of 30 days. It took me 45 days, but it really walked me through the basics of cybersecurity and what I really needed to understand. I learned new terminology. I got hands-on practice in labs. I was able to converse with the community members that are part of the Coursera course. I was able to really stay claim in the fact that I belong in this field and my experience is an additive rather than a subtracted factor in cybersecurity. So this really empowered me to say, I can do this. Now, while I was going through that journey, I also supplemented my learning through two main things. Now, again, I say the YouTube University is wide and vast and it is all knowing, but there were two sources, mainly one that I leaned on on YouTube, and that is Professor Messer. He's a godsend. Going through his Security Plus exams, at one time it was the 601 prep. And then after I missed that deadline date, I was going through his 701 prep. And the way that he blends real world practicality, real world events with cybersecurity terms, cybersecurity examples, and cybersecurity nuances and ideologies, I was able to really put in practice the largest scale granular process of it all, how it affects our everyday, how it affects real world examples again. And then my second source, which was another great crutch and had a lot of documentation to actually persist in the learning of cybersecurity is Jason Dion. Now, I found Jason Dion through X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And because again, I was going through a lot of sources, a lot of recommendations and on the internet, there's a lot out there. It's like a fire hose, but if you can beam down into your focus, into this one little niche, you can find what you need in the pathway. So through that, I was able to get to Jason Dion's course. Now, mind you, the security plus one was about 300 videos and seem intimidating, but if you take them at your own plot point, three a day, five a day, it doesn't take that long. It's about an hour for five videos, maybe two hours for five videos, depending on the content and the modules. But the way that Jason Dion weaves in and out of the objectives, because there are objectives that you have to pass for the Security Plus exam, the way that he weaved through those objectives with his team was fantastic. It enabled me and allowed me to fully grasp and understand what I was learning. And then on my car rides to work, I will listen to Professor Messer to get more of those terms, more of those real world examples, more of the modern day advancements in, in the modern day attacks or terminology that I needed to learn in cybersecurity. This was my life every day. Sacrifice, go to work, come home two, three hours after work. I'm in my office studying terms from seven to 10 every day, maybe till 11, maybe to 12. But I knew that I had a goal and in order to reach my goal, I have to sacrifice. Because one of the mantras that I wanted to say is, and that I really live by now, it's, it's two. It's, you can only control what you could control. Let me control my environment. Let me control my learning. Let me control my pace. I can do that. And also, I'd rather say I tried than wait a year and say I should have tried. I want to at least say, hey, I did the X, Y, Z rather than I should do something. You have to act. There's nothing that's going to, to do something for you. So you have to remain motivated. You have to remain determined. You have to remain dedicated to set your goal and achieve it. it took me about 45 days to, to complete the Google cybersecurity certification course. And then I took another 45 days to complete the Jason Dion requisite of videos in the security plus prep. The combination of these two sources along with, with Professor Messer was the blueprint that I used and I needed to pass my security plus exam. Yes. I passed it. Once I got the Google discount of 30%, I got that cost down from $400 to about $230, $45. And I said, this is it. Yes, let's go. So I set a date to take my exam. And let me tell you about the exam itself. The CompTIA Security Plus exam is really intimidating. And as someone who was not formally educated in cybersecurity, just going off life experience, going off the course teachings from Coursera, going off Professor Messer and Jason Dion, it was something that I did not take lightly. And it was something that I, again, was slightly intimidated in regards to my confidence. I knew terms, I knew ideologies, I knew frameworks, I was prepared. But during my practice exams from Jason Dion, I started out pretty well. I got an 80 on my first one. I was like, okay, this is only up from here. Uh, then I got a 75 and then a 72 and then a 65. 
the day before my CompTIA Security Plus exam. Well, so yeah, I was pretty intimidated, but I knew that if I focused, I took my time, I read slowly, I would do well. Because that's something that was emphasized during both Professor Messer and Jason Dion is to take your time on the exam, to breathe, to read. If you're unsure, skip it. Use the time that you would use wasting on trying to think of an answer and go solve another answer. The exam, I was able to take it virtually in my home office. I was able to control my environment. I had a few practice-based questions, which I skipped. That's the trick. Skip them, complete the multiple choice, come back. And the biggest thing about the exam was to read the questions. That's the one thing in psychology is once doubt is placed in the in your mind, you're liable to act in a way that you normally wouldn't. So if you stumble on a question, what is social engineering? Seems simple enough. We know social engineering. But the way that it can be worded and presented during an exam can really confuse you. You just have to hold on to the key tenets of the term, the practicality of it, and how it's implemented. Once you do those things, you'll do all right. Now, mind you, I, I blacked out, but I took all the time I needed to pass that exam. And one thing about CompTIA, they let you know if you pass or fail instantaneously. After I completed the exam in about five minutes, I clicked through a few screens to, to get me situated and I got that score you passed. And I know the minimum, whatever it is, I was just above it. But guess what? A pass is a pass. And since then, doors have opened for me. I mean, I'm still on my journey, but doors are opening and it's one step at a time. One thing about small drops in a bucket is that it's not going to overflow immediately. I'm on this journey. I'm making progress and I'm doing my part. So one thing about this, I'm going to give back eventually. I'm going to give back in the short term and also in the long term. I'm going to give you the education that I never received. Well, be on the lookout for videos weekly. Uh, with terms uh, and anything you may need to pass any exam that's coming up, specifically Security Plus exam, uh, because it was a doorway for me, and I know I can do great things. And again, take your time. You got this. So if there's anything I can say about that, if there are any tips that you need, if there are any assistance you need, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. This is new, but this is something that I'm committed to. Again, I drop weekly videos and. Be on the lookout for more from me, CyberDev. All right, bye.